okay in this video we'll discuss about a problem um, which requires a regular expression to solve that uh, this particular issue so i thought it will be a good use case for regular expression so i'll just make a video out of it so the problem statement is like if, if suppose if if you have a data something like this where uh, we have a server and for each server we have a available memory and used memory in this form the data is getting indexed in this form like 1.76 tb 0.56 gb something like that mb and gb all the different combinations now our ask is to find the total of these two columns available memory plus used memory now if you see the challenge over here is um, first of all the data is in not in numerical format right it's in text format 1.76 tb something like this right and also they have two different units like for one available memory can be uh, can have like tb gb any any memory correspondingly used memory can have any any of one of it right so that means it is not normalized as well so we have to basically make we have to convert this thing into a common unit then only we can add it right so now if you see if i just write um total equals to available memory plus used memory it's not going to work because if I'll total will be blank because this is uh, or it will be just it is if you see Splunk is just doing the um, string concatenation over here so this is not we wanted so we need to have something more so to do that we'll be using a regular expression to uh, to extract this numeric value from from this this fields and also this tb and gb value and mb value as well so that we'll convert it accordingly so let's let's build our regular expression first so i'll take a couple of examples so we'll go to our regex101.com so i'll so that whatever regular expression we'll build we'll we can test it out okay 0.56 so we'll take another example of 1.6 mb okay and another example of let's say whole number 2 mb okay so if you see our regular expression should should match should be able to extract the numeric value and as well as the this one right so let us start so if you see the if you want to extract the numeric value so the format is any digit any number of digit then a dot and then a again, again any number of digit right now it could be possible that a digit may not be present before dot okay so if you see slash d matches all the digit values right if you see here it is matching all the digit values now to match either zero or one occurrence if you go to our regular expression cheat sheet right so it is star right zero or more occurrence for any quantifier so zero or more occurrence quantifier i'll give you giving star here then after that i'll be having a single dot because it is not possible in a fraction we'll have more than one dot for single occurrence it is this one right so i'll say dot now if you see dot is a another regular expression one it matches any character so but we have to treat the dot as is right so that's why we have to escape the dot here now for escape the dot we have to use this slash escapes a special characters because dot is a special character in regular expression that's why i'll be giving slash dot okay now that this dot has to be a single one that's why i'll be giving this question mark over here right one occurrence zero or one and it has to be one so better instead of question mark we should be giving one over here okay so if you see it is matching here but if you see it is still not i am not able to extract this two over here right let us see because of this one now i cannot give one so if i give question mark then only i'll be able to capture two as well because for two there will be no dot right that's why question mark should be the better one now after that 
after the dot there would be any number of digits right so slash d plus plus means if you see it here it's one or more occurrence right so i'm able to capture the digit portion if you see it here for all different combinations so i'll give it a name group name because plunk rex command only extract field values when it, when it finds a named group right if you remember from my regular expression video so to create a, gr a named group what you need to do this is the syntax this one the question mark then the group name i'll let's i'll give the name let's say uh, for if we if we apply for available memory first then we will say available a v a i l available number i'll say okay so available number if you see all the different values it is getting now similar way after this one right we have a series of letters right so you can use the alpha the letters one right so i'll just use that one so again i have to capture this tbgb as well so i'll be capturing this one with named group so i'll say if -A -I -L avail this is the unit right and there i have to use this alpha one right if you if you are wondering what is the named group if you see this is the syntax for named group capturing a group name y okay um so now we will be having this group now if you want to give this group right you have to give it within another square bracket that's the syntax so square bracket start this is the group name square bracket in then plus it will be one or more entries so if you see available unit as well i'm able to capture those gbmb values so this should be my regular expression for our this column similarly for used memory also we'll be having the similar regular expression so let's apply that so rex so this is the syntax field field equals to it should be our available memory right field equals to available memory then the regular expression within double quotes so i'll be copying this one here okay so let's see how it's working first so if you see from available memory it is able to extract the number portion it is able to extract the unit portion as well right so let's do the same thing for used memory okay so rex in this case the field name will be my used memory and i'll be creating separate number because i need to use that number so used number and used unit okay so for my used memory as well i'm able to capture the um, number portion and the unit portion as well now we have to do a eval because now we have to convert this number to a generalized form so what we will do now we'll convert everything to mb so that we can add the mb to mb value so now if you see this available number is 1.76 but the unit is tb right so that means i have to convert it to mb whatever is gb i'll be converting to mb whatever is mb i'll be i'll not be converting that so for that what we'll do we'll write a eval statement eval now let's say avail let's say final value okay final equals to so what we will do so let's see that we'll say we'll write a case statement here okay we'll say if avail underscore unit okay so if avail underscore unit is tb okay then what we'll do with whatever the number is i'll be multiplying 10 0 to 4 square right so that means avail underscore number into 1 0 to 4 
into 1024 to make it MB correct when it is in TB now similarly when avel unit will be GB okay in that case I will just need to multiply it 10 0 to 4 only to convert it to MB correct and now otherwise in other case that means 1 equals to 1 case I will be having the avel unit value as is not it, it should uh, sorry avel number value as is not be avel unit okay so let's see avel final so if you see it here where is the avel final if you see it here so correspondingly this one into 1024 into 1024 is this number so we are getting properly this numbers okay so now it is not the mb value is not converting at all if you see it here okay for gb value it is only multiplying with 1024 here okay so so the similar concept we can apply for our used final as well right the final value of the used unit so if used unit so all the avel unit will be replaced by used unit right used unit and the, all the avel number will be replaced by used number see so used unit used number used number so this is also done right so this will be my used what is the used final okay so if you see the mb value it is not changing so it is working fine so now we will con we will calculate the total so now we just about the total value will be our total value will be eval total total equals to is just the summation of eval final value plus the used final value correct so this is the value these two values because i know these two values are in mb right so if you see this is my total so now what i can do is i can make this total as mb so eval i can say total equals to total dot mb so that i know these values are in mb okay so now after that i can just do table of server avail memory used memory and total okay so this is how we can basically what we have done here is we have used a rex to extract the numerical value and if you see it here this is also another good thing avail number right so splunk is automatically converting this to number because it's a numeric value if you want to make this code more um, or foolproof you can convert this to number as well but uh, anyway splunk do that uh, if you have a pure number so it will it will be um, it will be converting to number automatically from string to number so that's why this 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 calculations are working okay so we we, ex we extract that uh, numerical value and extract that field unit value then we accordingly we are converting it and calculating the total so this is how we can we can solve this kind of problem as well so think about it if you can solve it in any other way uh, post it as a comment in this video okay see you in next video